right there could have caught. Ooh, is that gonna kill side tilt? Waits for the air dodge. So smart play by Dandy off the stage. Let's wait for that air dodge. good adjustments from Dandy. Uh, again, I think in game one he had the tools to win. It was just that unfortunate SD he had off the right side of the stage. But he's definitely got the tools to win this matchup. So far pretty close. Pretty back and forth, I'd say. Okay, so red in the game three. Smart play from Bowser at the beginning. Sort of dash back, wait for an opportunity instead of just committing. So Bowser keeping the, the lead. He's definitely got the momentum here. I could tell right from the beginning that he was feeling pretty good. Just runs right into his Falco. He's caught in a couple of up tilts. I was expecting a grab there from Falco that sort of makes the minimum. Yeah, so the fire can kind of trap, especially someone with a poor recovery like Falco. You can Probably try to trap them off the stage and make it difficult to come in. I think seeing a little bit more of that from the portal would be good. So not quite enough, but he's right off stage where he wants him, so. And again, in that situation, one nice back air would probably seal it up. And that's going to do it right there, so. Does Bowser have a good recovery? It's not great, but it's come a long way since other games, so it's not horrible, but it's not great either. We've seen talk again. <laughs> And Danny not ready for the tech there on the stage. So again, even zero to zero. It's a very close set. Unsafe downer gets punished with a down throw into the back here. Now just seen up some damage. Unsafe up. He tries to get the laser. But no connection there. Falco's still untouched here. Still, still managing. Let's see if we get a JB here. Dash attack. A little bit unsafe. I'm gonna go Alright, finally put some damage here on the dandy. You can see he can just do circles around Bowser just with the sheer speed that he has. Yeah. Hey, I'm liking this Bowser. Yeah, he's a good Bowser, real good.
He's looking like he wants to win the set. Yeah, so forward air off the side, especially when the platform is in his favor there, that's that's going to kill him almost all the time. It's, it's just a great kill. So you'll notice that, a common theme with Falco. <laughs> Trying to get a uh, raw up smash and some percentage, but instead he eats up about 30%. Yeah, you'll notice with Falco the trend is, you know, when you're in the air, you got some options. So we have that Bowser side again, so you have to watch it. Got him off stage, and you see the same setup again, so. So Danny's just got to be ready for this, especially now. Because honestly, it adapts. I mean, Immortal's going to keep on doing it. Because again, if it works, why change it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that was like two times. It was. Most docks were ended that way, so. That's the tough part with Falco, is his recovery is just not great. And when you're off stage, you're just at his mercy. Um, so you just have to remain calm, try to find your way back on as best you can, and be ready to attack. My lack of knowledge on any part of this game, I feel like Falco should definitely have a good recovery. He's a bird. <laughs> you know, in this game, it's not bad. I, I think on a... I know at least Fox can do it on Falco. He can kind of go under Battlefield with the side B and then up B again. Something you can never even try to do in other games, like Melee or PM. Yeah. So it's better in this game, but it's still, compared to other characters, it's just not, not good at all. God, that so. does 16% average. Yeah, Bowser's very strong. Uh, coming out of the gate, too. You can tell he has no fear in this match. He's willing to go right in against Falco. And you can see his confidence just increasing throughout the set too, especially last game. Not afraid to do the setups off the stage. So nice nail tilt from uh, Falco to sort of pop him up in the air and be able to continue following up. So Falco's just climbing up there now. So Falco doesn't seem like he does a lot of damage, but he's very diligent. Like he can do yes. a lot fast. And it adds up. It does yeah, add up. Like you might not be able to do a quick 16% with a raw smash attack, but before you know it, you'll be at the same percentage just because yeah. of all his combos in the air, especially. Um, if you really need to see, remember that um, down air setup you had earlier that was able to kill him? That'd be cool to see again. Hey, what's up, Drew? Make yourselves at home. We're live streaming on Twitch, so it's, it's getting down to the wire now. Just a few matches left. We got a uh, mortal dandy tied 2 to 2. And it surprisingly down tilt actually kills there. It's really good DI for Dandy, uh, he almost left that too. Great turnout, yeah. I think we had almost maybe 30. Right? Something like that. Yeah, it was a great turnout. 32. Especially for our first tournament. Was it 32? Is that what it was? 32. It's way surpassed my uh, expectations, for sure. Thanks. Still, still pretty close. I didn't see what happened at the end of that stop. Did you see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, tied up. Okay. I just, I looked down and the numbers were just... That's what we were saying earlier, you have to watch out for those throws into up air. Oh, yeah. That's what ended up costing me. So. Props to both players. That was a good set. Excellent set. I was mad at I was mad at you that. Hey, that was a mortal one. A mortal one. You have it as dandy. Yeah. Yeah, I got out pretty early on. There was a lot of good competition. A lot of PR players and stuff. So mortal wins. Yeah, 3 to 2. 3 to 2. So he went for an off stage down air. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Very good set. Alright, so next, where's uh, Tim Coat? No one needs to see me in the shot. Is Zach back yet? Get back in here, he talks about stuff I don't understand. Yeah, you guys are going to update it. It's going to be uh, Tim Coat versus uh, Zach. It's Tim Coat AO. Tim Coat AO. Space they have like, versus Zax. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is Mewtwo guy. Yeah, Mewtwo. 
there's an open setup, so if you guys want to play. Can I slam on commentary? Yeah, pop it. Set your fouls bracket. Good, we're uh, in quarterfinals now, and then almost in semis. So I have a one. Yeah, he's still going to play. I'm still shaking from that last set. Are you? Understandably. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, are you welcome to as much Jesus as you want? Thanks. You can't really eat it now because I think it tastes like a robot. Come on, Nick. What the, what the frick, Nick? Come on, dude. So Timco is sick, and Zax is like slightly less sick. So we're going to, uh, I'm rooting for Timco. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, Timco's my homie. Two, Zax is like literally my demon. I've only ever beat him once. He's beaten me about 11 times. You win this game? Yeah. He has my number. You yeah. have much you want. I'm in losers finals right now. This is losers quarters. Either of these players can end up fighting me in losers finals, and I really don't want to fight Zax. So for I that, would. he's horrifying to watch with YouTube. He's pretty good. It's ridiculous. So the way this matchup goes is Iggy wants to bob and weave through Mewtwo's standing pressure. Like Mewtwo's gonna charge his big projectile. It's called Shadow Ball. And um. I'm just looking at the chat. And, uh, Zax is gonna wanna stuff Timco out the best that he can. Oh, that goes through. Okay. If I were Timco, I'd be looking for grabs right now because it looks like Zax has been depending on shield, so he's been losing the rock, paper, scissors of neutral. <laughs> I think you're my favorite player in this venue right now. Oh, that's a big punish. No way! Oh, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna do it. Timco looking for an opening. Oh, is that gonna kill? I'm in. Oh, so bad. Alright, he could have gotten more of a punish. Did you ever find out the chicken up there? I don't know who chicken up there is. It's one of my friends. <laughs> one of my friends. They know who I am. Who is mom slap? No you. Got him, Nick. <laughs> no you is the ultimate bird. Are you in semis? Yeah. Xander, make it to Legion Finals with me. Are you gonna make it to Legion Finals with me? Yeah. Me too, honestly. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh my god, Tim got one? Oh. His name is Azalea. Yeah, yeah, because I don't I don't know what I'm doing right now. Xana, <laughs> this is very chill and relaxed commentary. I don't want any craziness. You're the one who's loud. <laughs> well, I'm not loud right now. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go get a glass of water. Can you get me a glass? Yes, I can. Thank you. Oh, they go to. This is uh, this is actually Timco Cruise. <coughs> not so many people know about the Timco Cruise, but this is, if not Timco's best stage, then at least one of his better stages. Wow, what an up smash! That was so nuts. Nuts. It was definitely nuts. 
Timco winning the early percent game with quick pokes. We got a couple grabs. I know we used uh, four throw. These, these drills have been putting work in. Uh, he's looking... Zax's, is... I don't know what Zax's plan is at all right now. I think he's just kind of trying to swat at Timco. And Timco is just kind of maneuvering all around him. Oh, wow. What a call out on that roll. Up B. Oh, Timco's getting a little ambitious there. I like the back air. It's a good back air. Timco dash attack. Ah, oh, he did the skirt. Oh my goodness, what a, what a call out. See, now he, he tried to do the paralyzer, and Timco psyched him out. Thank you, Xander. You can have as much of this chocolate as you want. I don't like sweets, but thank you. That's very good. You should always try I believe you. You know what I was thinking about today? What? Remember the one time I gave you a cookie because you yeah. drove me? Remember how good that cookie was? That was a good cookie. I missed that batch of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just thinking about that today. I'm not even kidding. It's that bad. I miss every time. I've had a soft cookie. Yeah. You know those sugar cookies with the with the icing frosting, on the with the sprinkles. frosting and sprinkles. Yeah. yeah. Um, the sugar cookies. Yeah. They're soft. I mean, the, no, they're really sugar cookies. They're, they're classic their own. What? What's better, an Eaton Park cookie or their sugar cookies? I'd say usually an Eaton Park cookie, but there are times. There are times where Eaton Park cookies aren't that good. Like they can be hard. like they can be like really hard and stiff to chew on. But whenever they're soft and whenever they're fresh, like it is the it, and they have the uh, special ones that get more icing. Yes, I would say that they are the beats needs. I definitely would. I like that upper, but I think backer would have been more effective. But I don't know. Maybe he was thinking about something for upper. Nair does eleven. What? Yeah. Mewtwo's Nair does eleven. Mewtwo's Nair is a good move. Probably like one of the best moves in the game, and you cannot air dodge past that. No, you can't. Mm. Well. If he had a normal double jump, he could. If you had a, yeah. But he doesn't have a normal double jump. Temko up 2 0. Yo, Kojam, my boy, what's up? I miss you, homie. It's cool, uh, Kojam. Kojam's been taking your place when you're not here, giving us Diddy experience. Am I thinking of the right person? Yes, I think so. Yeah, no, Kojam's the Diddy. No, yeah. dude. Me and Kojam are leveling up together. We literally text about Diddy Kong all the time. He's my homie. <laughs> Hi, Sam. I miss you. I miss you, too. Sam, I love you so much. I miss you. This has been a really good tournament. Alright, all right, I'm looking at you. He literally cannot look at you. You are in Michigan. I'm looking at you figuratively. I, I'm imagining your face. Sam, why are what you... About, did you see that up smash? I saw that up smash. That was Timco dope. was willing to throw out those up smash. Timco, okay, so Timco was my ride here, right? Yeah. And the whole entire time that um, you know, we were on our way, he was talking. He was like... I really think that this could be my tournament. He literally played Wi-Fi for an hour today. And he never plays Wi-Fi. He took a nap before he came to get me. He ate food before he got here. Holy! What happened? I missed it. He got Met Koopa and uh, B Hammer. Yeah, uh, this, this might be his tournament. Them guys have been playing well. He's been the oh man, that was kind of cool. That, that, that was pretty cool. <laughs> he he cool. counted something cool with another cool thing. <laughs> oh man, that was kind of cool. I'd love to see Zax do more out of shield options. So like all he really does out of shield most of the time is roll. Yeah, I agree. Well, no, I don't because you know I can't ever uh... <laughs> beat him. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. The patience for the shield. I'm telling you, man, Timko's playing well. Timko <laughs> But he can't do the same support. thing that many times in a row. You ever seen that, uh... That picture, like, when my opponent does the same thing 20 times in a row and I finally punish it? Just do not insult the little intelligence that I have. <laughs> yeah. My, uh... My favorite one is whenever you do the same quote-unquote in italics mix-up on someone's shield a million times, and it's the picture. Oh, Dandy, do you know about mix-ups on shield? Charizard's up smash. But, um, and then, and then the picture is like, I am a dumb bitch, I will never improve. <laughs> That's my favorite one. I will never get better, I will never change, I will always be a dumb bitch. Oh, man. Timco is a... He's using drills so well, honestly. He is. 
And yep. then, whenever his side B hit the shield, he's being very patient, and I think that that's what's winning on these neutral interactions. Look at the patience there with shield. Oh, that's it. Good yeah, games. that's it. Very good games. Zach's put up an impressive showing. I'm gonna go body him. All right.